if we don't stay quiet, we are going to get suspended. All new right now at 6 is students suspended from school for voicing their concerns about bed bugs. South Allegheny sent this letter home to parents after finding the pest last week. It says that students who take pictures or video of the bugs could be disciplined. Channel 11 News reporter Melanie Gillespie is asking parents, does this go too far? Students want to learn. They actually want to learn and this is holding them back. Some students and parents of South Allegheny School District say they're afraid to speak out about health issues like bed bugs recently found in school after they say a student's claim got him kicked out of the classroom for the rest of the week. And I'm hearing that if we don't stay quiet, we are going to get suspended. Even parents too afraid to go on camera tell us they're being told to stay silent by school oh, yeah. staff. Um, every time someone posts something on Facebook and they get notified of our names, they call us. And it's like we have to hush or we fear our children are going to be suspended because of our putting our opinions out on Facebook. Well, this backlash from students and parents all started with a cell phone. A student posted this video onto social media claiming it was another bed bug found in school. He says him speaking out got him suspended. The school district sent out this letter last week after one bed bug was found, prompting an early dismissal and remediation efforts on Tuesday. The superintendent did not respond to our request for comments today, but said in last week's letter, any student who takes videos or pictures and doesn't report it first could face disciplinary action. The student told Channel 11 the school office was notified before the video was posted. The district did say the pesticide treatments can last more than two months, ensuring any additional bed bugs would not survive. The parents feel their concerns should still be heard. I feel like they want to cover it up is what I feel like and, and I know there are a lot of parents that feel that way. The kids are too busy worrying about watching for roaches and bed bugs than they are learning because they can't focus and it's just not fair to their education. And there's no word if the school is taking any farther remediation actions after this week. I did show that video to an exterminator who's very familiar with bed bugs and he said because of the quality of the video, he could not determine if it was a bed bug or not. Reporting in South Allegheny, I'm Melanie Gillespie for Channel 11 News.